Yeah. They're talking. <laughs> That's how you know when a politician is lying. He's opened his mouth. <laughs> hey, everybody. Um, this is not a spring chicken. How do you know the government's lying to you? Well, remember that old joke they used to say, how do you know when a politician's lying to you? They say they open their mouth. Well, okay, so you're thinking, but the government, well, you know, figures can be twisted and, you know, part of it's perception and how they would like you to believe it to be. Um, but how do we know it's not doing as well? Well, two things. One is the unemployment figures. Okay, so yes, there's lower unemployment and everybody has money. Not. Um, after they've been on the unemployment figures for so long, well, guess what? They fall off the rolls and oh, people think they're employed now. Oh, and number two is, oh yes, housing sales are better than ever. Record numbers. Okay, I do architectural photography. I can tell you, it's not. Yes, it may be the season for people doing for end of the year, but no, it's not. I don't see how they're getting those record figures. Oh, unless it's like, well, I guess you can always twist the numbers. But wait for the correction. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, they said that Obama now, he, he's went to uh, a John Soros uh, think tank and then he's going to uh, young, uh, young liberal politicians in, uh, in, uh, you know, uh, that he's going to a young socialist thing, he's going to this, all of these things that he's going to the left shows that the left is prepared to take over the country because the right is so extreme. And the people, they don't buy that Obamacare is not working. They don't buy that uh, that the website doesn't work. They don't buy that the country, you know, isn't doing well under Obama. And they're going to, the Republicans are going to be crushed in the next election, which is, flee, flee Obama said, bite me. Mm -hmm. so. And according to the president, Obamacare has too many success stories to tell. Yeah, he, he can't even... You know that we've got letters, thousands of letters from people telling us how much it has helped them. Well, uh, the one guy, what he really got angry this morning. Somebody at the source, can you tell us the uh, an individual that's actually uh, give us a success story of someone that's actually paying for their insurance? Mm -hmm. He said, "Well, we have. I would have to have people give you that information because I don't have it in hand." And then they said, "In other words, the success stories are the people that aren't paying for insurance." And then that's, well, that gives me something to talk about, the inequality of insurance between those people that can afford it and those people that can't. And that this is what the Affordable Health Care Act is, is we're going to help shape the inequality between those that have and do not have, and then, then if then the word come up another time. In other words, you're talking about income redistribution. No, we're talking about inequality, mm. you know, racial inequality. Inequality towards women, inequality towards... Yeah, that's a reason for health care, right? Yeah. It, <laughs> yeah. It's to help, but no, he, they, he basically has admitted today it was all about social engineering to take money from those that have and give it to those that have not. Oh, here's a good one, too. So what does Flea Obama say about Obama's need? He needs young people to sign up. There, the polls today show 39% of college students don't even know what Obamacare is. What? what? Uh, why don't they know what Flea says? They, he, Flea said it's because they don't watch television, they don't read the news, and they don't even get on the internet for that stuff. If it is not an entertainment, if it is not an event that they pay attention to, they don't know about it. It's, it's, it's a non-thing. So, and, and oh, what's the big thing? Nine out of ten people that are under the age of 29 are not signing up for Obamacare anyway. They're going for the free services because. Oh, they're not as stupid as the Democrats thought. They're not going to pay. Well, you got to pay six hundred dollars a year more than you were paying before, and you weren't even paying before. I don't have the money. Mm -hmm. And more Americans spend less on Black Friday sales. Yeah, they they basically uh, it was a disaster. They figured, well, the weather's bad. The weather got bad during peak shopping hours, so people are in the stores. There's they were in the stores, but we saw it. People were coming out with the sales items which they did find out were well, not really sales items because most of them were last year's items. But they, they're still on sale. <laughs> they're on sale, which is they, okay, mm -hmm. if they had read, if they'd have bothered to read the newspapers, watch television news or anything, which nobody does anymore, 
they would have found out that these were not bargains they were getting. They were last year's models that are studded full warranty, but they were last year's models and they were clearing the shelf's warehouse space out. And the idea, we would learn from a CES forum that the idea on a lost leader thing is that what you want to do is to get them to buy peripherals. No. And that's why they call it lost leader. They bring you in. At a loss, you buy other things. They didn't buy other things. They were buying only the things that they had stacked in the floor and not doing anything else. And Norway warms to electric cars. Which is an impossibility. You know why? Why? Electric cars don't work well in extremely cold climates. Norway gets cold. Then they don't work well in extremely cold climates. You got to well, keep them. I didn't them. know that. You have to keep. Um, uh, you got to keep them warm and. A lot of people in Norway don't have garages the last time I looked. Um, so actually, the, they're probably not that good on the East Coast or, or no, the North. No, it was really cold. cold. You can't, oh, gosh, I didn't know that yeah, about You can't start the cars. things, folks. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Detroit bankruptcy case can go forward, U.S. judge. Oh, the unions are throwing fits. Okay, if they're throwing fits, uh, 11 states controlled by Democrats. Yesterday, Illinois has become the first, New York is going to be coming next, California is coming, uh, where they're going to basically change the rules on pension benefits and they're going to cut hundreds of thousands of people out. I mean, like in Detroit, where the 250,000 people are getting money from the state that don't even live in the state anymore. Mm -hmm. And Obamacare, surprising demographic pitfall, young people. Yeah, the Democrats, here's the key. Uh, yeah, okay, they're wanting, Obama is wanting the people that don't need insurance to pay for the people that need, that have to have the most expensive insurance and that don't work because the people that he depends upon says F you to everybody over a certain age, including him now, as the, okay, no less than the Harvard University did their polling, two out of every three young people in the poll want to see a recall election, they said they want this man gone. Mm -hmm. they, they love socialism, they just don't like it, it's got to take money out of their pockets. War on the greatest generation, critics assail voter ID laws. Uh, voter IDs have nothing, okay, uh, I can guarantee you, I'm, I'm from that, I'm from that mm -hmm. universe, I, I remember World War II, I was there. So, um, I have so many forms of identification, you would not believe it. You know, as you get older, you get more forms of identification, um. and yet basically, um, they said, well, you have to have an ID to vote. You have to have an ID to drink. You have to have an ID to get into a club. You have to have an ID to drive. You have to have an ID to cash a check. You have and to have an ID to buy paint. You have to have an ID for anything but... Voting. If, but to go, but have an ID... Uh, the Democrats want no registration, no ID whatever required for, um, you know, they won't even accept now a, a thing that says you're paying a bill as an ID now because that's racist. What? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Tax hike, security debt, Mexican president's approval rate in the poll. I know. He is socialist. When socialist goes in, the first thing socialists do is they raise people's taxes. And since here's the good thing, you know what little what Biden, what little Lee Obama said? He said there isn't enough money at the people at the top to pay the bills, so the people at the bottom get hit the hardest. Mm. And a 2013, a landmark year for gay rights. That was a horrible year. The, what happened was that the, the people that are, the states that are passing gay rights are refusing to allow the people to vote. And the people are voting. Uh, uh, basically, they kick people out that supported to get married. They don't care about the thing. It's the marriage bit that really pisses people off. Black Americans don't approve of it. Latin Americans don't approve of it. The Muslim Americans don't approve of it. The, Je the Jewish Americans don't approve of it. So what you have is a, a, a minority trying to tell everyone else, this is what marriage is now. Uh, I was watching last night when the comic said, you know, he said, I really love my dog. And he said, my dog and I are really close. And, you know, if, if I have a constitutional right to, to love my dog, and I, I want to be able to marry my dog. That's well, people coming. leave inheritances to their dog. Yeah, or the cats. cats, but that's what's coming, is you can't, okay, it's, it is not, it is a lifestyle choice, you know, most people, most young people don't even get married now, the same people that don't get married are marrying gay partners, which, I mean, I, yeah, uh, an actress that come out, an actress come out this week, that's 
I've always been gay. And said, my God, my husband, my husband said, not that I know of, she hasn't always been gay. <laughs> and her kids, what do you mean mom's gay? Well, you know, she, she said, I fell in love with my, my partner. And they said, you're, you're living with dad. You know, you've been living here for 20 years with dad. And they said, well, I've, I've met someone else. And it's politically correct in Hollywood to have a gay partner now and to leave your family for that partner. What? Uh, but, oh, hear what Herbie, what Flea Obama says? He said, if you come out as gay, it kills your career in the film business because 90% of all the business is done in countries that don't have gay rights. The only time it works is if you're here in the U.S. as a talk show host. Yeah, but you can't get a job. The industry does not hire people that are gay anymore. If you're gay, openly gay, bye-bye. Oh, and a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Um, okay, that it, if you know what's going to happen before it happens and you still do it anyway, it's your fault, not someone else's. Unfortunately, the president says it's the Republicans' fault.